Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Israel and welcome back guys to another Cold War Zombies video. In today's video guys, we're going to be going over some Outbreak tips and tricks. And overall, I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks that a lot of people should know that will actually help them in Outbreak. Because I think that uh, I'm very good at Outbreak and I'm usually going 20 plus. So I think a lot of you guys would benefit from this video. So make sure you guys uh, hit that subscribe button. And also like this video if you find it very useful and uh, comment down below any other suggestions uh, for outbreak tips and tricks uh, to help other people that come across this video. Uh, one last thing though, uh, one last thing guys, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys of course are subscribing. But uh, I am doing a 1000 V-Buck giveaway. Now of course a lot of you guys are probably here for Cold War, so if you guys don't really mind this, you can go ahead and skip to the next part of the video. But if you are interested in a 1000 V-Buck giveaway, I will be leaving a link in the description to a video where it explains it all. So if you guys want to enter this the uh, the 1000 V Bucks giveaway, uh, link in the description. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alrighty, guys. So coming in, our one of our number one tips and tricks that I can give you guys is to make sure you guys are using the ray gun. Now, of course, you know, pretty straightforward, right? But honestly, make sure you guys are using the ray gun because I've honestly every time I'm playing uh, Outbreak, I have this issue with the Tempest. Uh, if you guys don't know who the Tempest are, and you guys haven't really ran into that many of them, which you probably have if you played Outbreak, but the Tempest are the electrical people in, you know, their mini-bosses. Uh, and honestly, they are very annoying, and uh, usually they are disabling my vehicles, and honestly just giving me a hellish amount of time to kill them. So yeah, so pretty much the best advice I can give you guys for the Tempest that I found that works the best is to use the Ray Gun. Honestly, I feel like the Ray Gun just takes them out the fastest. And honestly, especially when they're teleporting away from you, which is by far one of the most annoying things ever, is when they teleport away from you and you're constantly shooting at them, it is just making it so much easier if you're just using the ray gun. Because if you try to get up close and personal with a shotgun, you know, it doesn't really work. And ARs are not that great in Outbreak anyway. So honestly, the ray gun is something that you guys want to always have in your back pocket anyways. But why not use it on the Tempest? Because it is honestly the best thing to use on the Tempest as it just absolutely shreds them. So that's one of my uh, tips and tricks so far. Coming in at our second tip, guys, that a lot of people don't know. If you guys get these Tier 5 Speed Cola and the Tier 5 Stamina Up, you guys will see a huge difference for Outbreak. So one of the next tips and tricks that uh, you guys can actually kind of abuse in a way is the movement speed. So in Outbreak, you know, obviously you have these huge fire-based maps. And if you're trying to get to these objectives quick, fast, or these little mini quests or whatever the case may be, you guys are trying to do them fast and you're trying to get there fast now a bit a very good tip that i've seen is that you can use this strategy that i'm going to show you which is abusing this tier 5 sleight of hand and tier 5 stamina up together pair them together and you can get very fast movement it works exceptionally well on the ray gun so let me show you so pretty much what you're going to do is you can for one i wouldn't recommend doing this with a ray gun but you can of course you know shoot and sprint at the same time it works very well gives you a faster movement and the second one, which is what I mainly would recommend, is for when you guys are, you know, sprinting, you can reload your weapon and it'll make you still sprint and move faster. So you can abuse this, just shoot one shot, reload, shoot one shot, reload, and just keep repeating this process over and over and you guys will be seeing such faster movement. Now, it probably doesn't look like it in this gameplay, but if someone that has not, you know, that just got all of the tier 5 perks, it works very well when you compare, or when you incorporate both of these together you shoot reload shoot reload and you're just constantly moving quickly and fast so it is a very good and beneficial tip to you know outbreak because it is such a huge fire base map and you're trying to get to the objectives as quick as you possibly can Alrighty, guys so coming in at our number three i guess tip or trick um it's going to be here on the map outline or app line so pretty much there is a huge benefit to this map so what you're going to do is if you're able to spawn, mostly you're you know, going to spawn somewhere on this side of the map. If you get lucky and spawn on this side of the map, then I want you guys to look at this tip and trick. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to come over to this big building over here, the chalet. And what you're going to pretty much do is very simple. You're just going to hop on to this little shrub here. You're going to walk around here on the little wooden ledge. And then you're simply just going to jump off and you're going to parachute. Now why this is so beneficial is you can literally get to the objective quickly so fast that you literally will skip all of this running now me personally when i'm going for these tier five 
you know, perks and, you know, other things that I need in my skills menu, I'm trying to get to the objectives quick and speed run through this. I'm not trying to really go and, you know, do all these extra mini little quests. Now, you can if you want to. Of course, it's very beneficial if you, you know, go and look for other, you know, loot boxes and stuff. But if you're someone like me who really wants to get these tier 5 stuff maxed out as quick as possible, this is a very beneficial tip and trick for you guys to use. It literally skipped me so much. Or I skipped so much stuff there. I'm able to literally get to the objective as quick as possible. And just like that, I'm able to start the next objective for, you know, getting to the next map. So if you guys haven't tried this out, make sure you guys use this. This is a very good tip. Now, of course, it's up to you if you decide to use it, but it's a very beneficial tip, and I would recommend you guys to use it if you're really trying to speedrun. Alrighty, guys, so coming in at our number four spot for our tips and tricks for this video, and that is simply just use the Howard Shotgun. Now, I've made so many videos on the Howard Shotgun. I've expressed my love and just absolute gratitude to the Howard Shotgun, and man, when I mean this shotgun is the best thing you can use right now in Cold War Zombies that is non-Wonder Weapon related, I am not joking you. You can see how quickly I drained that Eliminate Target's health with just the Howard Shotgun itself. I was literally using nothing else with the Howard Shotgun, and I'm just impaling these zombies and even that mini boss there so quickly. I'm just destroying zombies, and I'm on, you know, a round 17, which is a pretty high round. Not a lot of players I've been seeing are getting to these higher rounds. Most of them are giving up at certain points. You know, I like round 8, round 10 when it gets harder. But no, like, honestly, like, you using the Howard Shotgun is a must in Cold War Zombies, especially in Outbreak. If you guys have not seen any of my rant videos on why the Howard Shotgun is the best shotgun in the game and best gun in the game, I have, like, three videos already up on my channel, which you guys can go look through, that literally talk about how great the Howard Shotgun is. If you guys are not using the Howard Shotgun, you guys are missing out, man. This shotgun really just absolutely destroys... Like, just look at this man's health. It is all, he's already done for. He's already teleporting away from me. He's scared of this shotgun. I'm telling you guys, if you guys are not using the Howard shotgun, you guys are missing out. So that comes in on our number four spot for our tip and tricks, or our number, or fourth one, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, I just love the Howard shotgun, and honestly, if you're not using it, you got to give it a try. Alrighty guys, so coming in at our next tip, we are going to be going over another tip that you guys can also use, and honestly it works very well, especially on the retrieve one, which is really where you want to use it. So if you guys didn't know the retrieve one, obviously you uh, go to the, uh, you go and retrieve two canisters, and within those canisters you are walking slow, you can't jump, you can't pretty much do, you're very limited on your actions. So bringing a car is literally going to be an essential for this kind of thing, especially on the higher rounds when zombies are much harder to kill. You are going to probably want to make sure you're doing this tip and trick because it very, it is very helpful. So as you guys can see here, I'm going to go ahead and quickly start the retrieve mission here. As you guys see, you got five minutes. And when you guys are doing this retrieve mission, you guys only obviously have five minutes. So you guys need all the time in the world that you guys can. You got to obviously take out all the hordes of zombies that's around in your area. So I'm going to go over here to B, for example. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut to when I actually, you know, finish this so that way you guys don't have to... Watch me clear out all these zombies. As you guys can see here, for the most part, I have cleared out most of the zombies. I'm going to go and retrieve it. And as you guys can see here, I can limit it on actions. I can't move. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to grab a car. So if you didn't know, you can use a car while you're doing this. And this is going to be your fastest way of moving across the map. Especially when you're doing this. So you guys can see here how fast I'm going over to this side of the map to complete this. I'm already here. Now, of course, this one isn't as far as the other one. But honestly, this tip is probably going to be the best tip you guys are going to need for the retrieve mission because honestly using a vehicle is just going to be so much more effective than just walking over there especially as you get you know the, of course when you have hordes and hordes of zombies they become so much harder to really get rid of all the zombies on the higher rounds and then once at the time you've gotten rid of all of them you've already wasted a minute or two trying to get rid of all the zombies as you guys can see here i'm trying to get rid of all these damn zombies even with the powerful ray gun the beauty that is the ray gun's damage it is still quite hard but by the time you know i'm going and you know do the purge thing here so i can go over and pick it up and you can see here i go and retrieve it and while i'm retrieving you can see i am insanely slow i am very vulnerable to these zombies that sprint at you know transit zombie speed for no reason like these zombies are sprinting fast as fuck and i'm trying to you know get away from especially from these fuckers you know fuck the fucking panzers dude but as you guys can see here i'm just gonna bail away from them get in this vehicle and just automatically go over there one thing you do need to know is that you do damage the vehicle heavily so make sure you guys are going to the objective as fast as you can but as you guys can see here i said fuck those panzers 
I said fuck them, I dipped out and I got to this spot pretty much instantly and that is the best piece of advice I can give you for the retrieve mission. It is absolutely amazing. Make sure you fucking are aware of those fucking Tempest Zombies, man. I literally had a vehicle ready in that in this gameplay right here and those fucking Tempest Zombies need to be removed. Fuck Tempest Zombies, there's no reason they should be in the game. Fuck them and fuck their whole entire creation. Whoever thought it was a good idea, Treyarch, we need to talk urgently. Alrighty guys, so before we get into, or pretty much getting into our tip, before we actually get into it in a way, uh, so pretty much this is the tip and advice that I can give you for holdouts. Now my personal best experience with holdouts is that they're all RNG based and honestly they're going to be hard the higher and higher you get. Normally I pretty much only ever failed on holdouts, I've never failed on any other objective mission, so the best advice I can give you is as follows. Power shotgun, maxed out all the way, works out very well. Deadwire is what you want to have. I have noticed that most of the bosses that are really in the um actual um objective for the holdout, I've seen a lot of megatons. So if you didn't know, megatons and the electric deadwire uh, ammo mod really increases your damage. So you can pretty much be pumping out those shotgun shots quickly and getting rid of those megatons as quick as possible. I would recommend that you run that. Now you don't have to. You can run whatever ammo mod you want. But uh, honestly, let's be honest. Deadwire is one of the best, if not the best, ammo mod to use in Cold War Zombies as of right now. Of course, you want to have either the ray gun upgraded to the max tier. Or you want to have the ray K at the max tier. You want to have some sort of wonder weapon of those two. You don't want to have the fucking die, die E shockwave. That shit sucks. Don't have that. Uh, so have a wonder weapon. Either that be the tier 3 uh, pack a punched uh, ray gun. Or the ray K at tier 3 pack a punch. Because that is going to help you as well. Maxed armor. All of your perks, and you also want to make sure you're running two monkey bombs because that's the most you can hold for some reason in Outbreak. And whatever lethal of your choice, now C4 works out great. The two main things you really want to have, or three things that you really want to have, make sure you have a self-revive, make sure you have a death machine, and make sure you have Frenzy Guard to the tier 5 upgrade. Frenzy Guard really, really makes it crucial to survive, especially on solo. Slowing down all the zombies and getting all your armor back really is a quick little fresh restart that you need Especially in a holdout when it's the smallest the most hardest thing to do in all of outbreak When you get them just pray that you get through it because honestly man Holdouts are the worst So I'm gonna be probably doing this tip live But honestly that is the best advice that I can give you guys for holdouts. They're all basically RNG based You can get lucky with power-ups and get an insta kill and get a nuke it is honestly very RNG based in my opinion, so just hope that you at least have all of these aspects. With all these aspects, it is only in gonna it's only gonna increase your chances. It won't guarantee you'll win, but it's gonna increase your chances. So I would make sure you run at least everything that I provided, or at least the best that you can, because my God, I'm doing this live right now, and I just got a holdout. So I'm probably gonna do this live because I might die. But yeah, let's get uh. So yeah, that's the best advice I can give. And I'm dead. I'm telling you, dude, this shit is no joke, dude. I don't know why the fuck I did what I did there, but oh my god, dude, that is so fucking... Oh my god, dude, yeah, I lost all my perks now. And I'm already about to go down again. Yep, there it is. So when you go down, if you do go down and you have a self-res, do not let your meter obviously go all the way down, but hold yourself down. It won't, you know, it won't end your game or anything. As long as you revive yourself, you know, don't get all the way down there. But as you can see, my timer is just going down, and I'm chilling on the floor. Once it gets to my Juggernog, I'm going to go ahead and self-revive so I don't die, obviously. And then I'm just going to go ahead and let it out. And just like that, I completed it. Not literally, not legitimately, but hey, I did it. I fucking died, and I probably did some stupid plays there because I'm doing this shit live for you guys. But hey, if you can somehow manage to do that, the best tips you can get from that, do your fucking best, man. Because holy shit, that is some hell. That is some hell. Change your default.